What's good everybody, you just seen my pre-workout snack. I had two of those, uh, 10 grams of peanut butter on a low-fat rice cake. I uh, have three of those a day. Uh, but today I just managed to put them for my workout, so I feel good. I'm just on the way to the gym now, gonna train back today. Uh, and just while I'm on the way, I'm gonna talk a bit about weak point training. Thought we'll get two birds killed with one stone. I'm doing back, back is not my weak point, but my lower back is my weak point. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna work my lower back three times a week. That's it guys. No miracle, no massive plan, no magic. Just gonna train my lower back more times than I train anything else. Uh, and this is a really good technique you guys can use to bring up weak points, just up, up your training frequency. For example, I had a really bad left oblique, I really couldn't contract it, and I just trained it over and over and over again. I actually got up to doing it like four times a week, and I really, really noticed a difference, like really. Like now I can pull it in, now I've got that mind-muscle connection, and it, honestly, it's all down to training frequency. Uh, another thing you can do is, if you've got weak arms, have a cheat day on, on your arms. Uh, I put the calories up on your arm day. Uh, really just go to town on your arm day and then just refuel big with a, with a nice cheat day. It's another little tactic you can do. Try hit your weak points first. Um, for example, I'm gonna be hitting rack pulls first right now, so I really work my lower back as hard as I can with all my energy. Um, and then I'll work into other accessory movements like uh, pull downs and rows and things like that. So if you, if another example is if you've got weak biceps compared to triceps, train your biceps first over your triceps uh, and then that way you can put more effort into that kind of bicep movement rather than the tricep movement. Many other ways to bring up weak points, if you've got any, comment below, that would be fantastic. Um, they're just a few that I'm going to spit off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the gym for a big back workout. Got a new pre-workout today, so we'll try that. Yeah, buddy! Back day. With the boys. First up, rack pulls. Trying to build thickness in the lower back. Because it's a weakness of mine. Gonna slowly build up. Hopefully, we'll get there. Alright, guys, decided to do a little side by side here. Um, instead of a voiceover that I was gonna do on iMovie because it sounded a bit too robotic. So, we warmed up on. Um, Rack pulls, this is just 100 kilos, uh, moved into 140 kilos nice and slowly, really focused on put, keeping our back in, chest out and really pulling through and um, focus on my lower back because right now I'm trying to focus on bringing up my lower back because I feel like that's the part of my back that's lacking the most. Um, so decided to hit rack pulls first because that is a direct lower back movement so I can put all of, <laughs> dancing there, so I can put all of my effort into this one, one effort one effort, just one exercise. So we worked up here, it's 160, uh, then next up will be a 180, uh, and then we move to 200, and as you see, Tom is an absolute beast, just wrecked it for fun, it was just ridiculous. Like, he went up to two, 220 in the end, and he just hit like 10 or thing, but a lot slower. I mean, this kid could probably do 300, he's, he's an absolute beast, completely natural, just eats like a horse, trains even harder, amazing. So after these um, rack pulls, we moved over into uh, underhand pull downs. Uh, the main focus here was not to lock out at the top and really put all of that emphasis on the lats and really pulling with their elbows and pulling from the lower back again. Uh, this was four sets, 12 reps. Before was six or six sets. No, this was um, lat pull downs, five sets. Rack pulls, six sets. 12 reps on these lat pull downs. Um, yeah. And that was it. Pretty sure that was it. We were an absolute failure. Last set, barely made. I'm hitting 10 reps, it's 9.5. I'm hitting 12, it's 11.5. That half rep, push them as hard as you can. If you fail, you fail. But you've worked the muscles to the absolute maximum. Next up, we move to uh, a low pulley row with the lat pull down bar. Focus on the full stretch of bringing the 
the lats really far, really stretched, and then come back, arch the back, pull through, chest out, uh, really to build that lower back, middle back, uh, with the low rows. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite exercises, guys, and I love this machine. It's actually just like a rope with weight attached to it, but you really feel every single, like, you, know, you feel every single contraction or every single stretch. I don't know whether it's the rope or whether it's just the machine, but this is one of my favorite exercises anyway. Uh, then we moved on to, I think it was behind the neck, let me just see this video, yeah, behind the neck press. Uh, with behind the neck press it really puts more emphasis on like, on the lat as, as a whole, just the lat, because um, if you're, if you're, if you put bring it before, before, uh, but, 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 if you're bringing it down in front of you, you, know, you can kind of get more momentum with the swing, but if you're just sat upright and you just bring it down in that plane of motion, it's, it's a lot different plane of motion is straight up straight down as opposed to like forward and on the arc if you're doing it forward and arc yeah you get a really good stretch and it's how the lat works but if you're not working it in different planes of motion the lat that is uh, then you're not going to work it to its maximum so it's great to hit it with different angles it's great to hit with different variations of um, hand variation so close neutral uh, wide, ultra wide, ultra close, things like that. It's really good to keep picking up, uh, changing up because the lat is such a big muscle. It needs to be hit from, hit from all angles. Uh, we, I superset this with the rector raises or glute ham raises, but I like to put the focus on my back. I'm not really sure what kind of raise you call this. Um, this just to bring up my lower back again because it's a focus area that I want to focus on, an area that I want to focus on. Then we move though to rope pull downs. You've seen me do these many, many times before. Staple in my uh, back workout. I love it. Full stretch all the way down and pull in where the Christmas tree is. In my opinion, I feel it all the way through my my lats. Uh, Super set this with the close grip row, and that was it. Close grip row. We just kept the tension on. No stretching. Literally just elbows pull, elbows pull, and that was pretty much the workout, guys. That's a thumbnail, right? I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, peace.